Hello everyone, happy new year. My name is Ava Taylor and I am the founder and CEO of Yama Talent. We are the world's first booking agency management company and consulting firm dedicated to fostering the careers of yoga teachers. We love what we do and I'm so excited for this video in particular because it is something that we um, specialize and think about a lot whether that's working with an individual yoga teacher or with a studio or any of our amazing consulting clients. So um, it is the new year, it's January, and so we're all sort of starting fresh and really taking um, stock of what worked and what didn't in the previous year. And if you're not, I hope that you have. Um, it's a really powerful time of the year to, to do this. I do believe that you can create change any day. You can wake up tomorrow and completely change your reality. And at the same time, there's a reason that the calendar year turns over you know, businesses are turning over um, and everyone is sort of focused on ways that they can do better. And so um, I'm going to talk to you today about detoxing your inbox. Um, I live in New York City. I get about 250 emails a day and it is a lot. And a lot of us have become completely eye crazy. And when I say eye crazy, I mean your iPhone, your gadgets. You know, we're all sort of attached to the hip to these amazing um, devices that allow us to be super flexible and to work from anywhere. And I know that lots of you work in very interesting places with your iPhone. I'm guilty of that um, as well, but that's a whole other video segment. And at the same time, there is a lot that we can do to control um, the, the way that we're receiving the information, the way that we're processing the information, and to make sure that, most importantly, we have the space to do the things that are important. And so um, ask yourself a couple of questions. Do you feel distracted when you sit down to work? Do you feel that even though you just spent four hours at your computer, you didn't actually get anything done. If either of those are like, yeah, oh, yeah, I totally know what you're talking about, you're probably suffering from an, um, a bit of a messy system when it comes to how you are intaking and processing your emails. So what I love to do, what I want to share with you guys today are some ways um, and things to think about that can help you start fresh and really take control of your inbox and, um, and start to be a little bit less eye crazy. So one of the, the first and form, you know, primary things that I like to think about is the difference between urgent versus important. And what happens when you have a text message pop up or what happens when you see you know, that unread email pop through your screen while you're supposed to be working on something important, and I hope that you are, I hope that your time is carved out into task blocks and we're gonna talk about that in another segment. And because if you're not, that little text message, those little email things are going to actually distract you from doing what's important. And because they become part of your peripheral vision, you are then down the rabbit hole thinking that that is something that you need to tend to in that moment, when actually it's not. Most of those emails are things that can wait, especially if you have your time carved out properly where you've allowed yourself an opportunity to then follow up with a particular type of communication at another time. So the, the confusion between what's urgent and what's important is a huge, 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 huge issue, for, especially for small business owners and people who are um, independent and who are responsible for creating their own time management schedules. If you feel like a firefighter, like you're always putting out fires, some of the things that we're going to talk about with how to reshape and clean up your inbox are going to be super important and super helpful. So urgent versus important, and I really, really encourage you to think about whether or not you are actually getting time to work on what's important when you sit down to get some work done. Something else that's really interesting um, about sort of being eye crazy is the fact that you might actually be addicted to your email. And when I say addicted, I mean it quite literally. There is a release of dopamine, which is a chemical, a, a neurotransmitted chemical that the body releases um, every time you are able to respond to an email. And so we're conditioning ourselves in that relationship, right, to see an email and then you want to be the first one to jump on it. I've, I've been on email threads where there are five or six different individuals and I know that, you know, all over the city, we're all sort of in our minds saying to ourselves, I'm going to be the one that's going to get to that email thread first. I'm going to be the one that's going to respond, especially here, you know, when we have um, pretty hardcore work work habits, work ethics, I would say, you know, it doesn't matter if it's midnight or two in the morning, hey, I'm going to be the one that's going to get on that email chain first. And the reason why, yes, is because a lot of us are probably overachievers and you're also getting a rush from it. And so when you start to realize that maybe there's actually something that's causing you to respond and to react, 
it'll be very helpful in helping you create some pacing and some distance and some space. Um, a couple of myths about managing your inbox. The number one myth I believe about managing your inbox is that you will, there will ever be a time where you won't have any messages there that need to be tended to. I have had consulting clients that will stay up all night because they can't sleep unless their unread messages says zero, which means that somehow, some way, they have miraculously been able to actually get through all of the emails that were sent to them in a particular day. Now again, if we go back to urgent versus important, some of those emails aren't important to begin with. So how much time have we given those things? And if it's if the primary concern is getting through all of the emails in the inbox, you're basically chasing your tail because it's never going to happen. Because the second that you go, great, I got all my emails done, you're gonna go to sleep and guess what? You're gonna wake up in the morning and there's gonna be 20 more emails in your inbox. So having that type of, um, of uh, a criteria, having that type of a um, goal that you're setting out to do, I actually feel is quite harmful because you're always chasing, you know, getting all of those emails cleared out rather than actually focusing on what's important. And what's important might be something personal. It might be your yoga practice. It might be something business related, um, whether that's working on your financials, whether that's working on your marketing. Um, so if you're wondering why you don't seem to have time to get certain things done, it may be because you're chasing that tail. Uh, that's a great, great thing to, to sort of wrap your head around. And again, um, another myth that I think about con you know, managing your inbox is that you can't control it. And I feel this way with time management in general and you know, especially as a small business owner, especially as you know, a yogapreneur, we, um, we do have a lot of control. You know, a lot of us are setting our own schedules and creating our own um, lives. And so when it comes down to that, if you start to think about, and that's really what I would like you to do with this, with this video, is think about what will work for you because there's a lot of ways that you can help create your ideal week, your ideal day, and feel accomplished not because you got through every single email, but because you actually got to what was important. So a couple of just quick little solutions for things that you can actually implement straight away that will help you manage your inbox. Um, unsubscribe to some things. I dare you to unsubscribe to a lot of things. I have a feeling that many of you are like me and you may spend the first five minutes every time you sit down to even work on your emails actually deleting things that you don't want to read. <laughs> it happens, um, you know, sometimes when you're, you're shopping, sometimes you don't even sign up technically for someone's email list, but you get on their email list. Sometimes they're people you know, sometimes they're businesses that you know, but they really clog up your inbox and they allow you, um, they prohibit you, excuse me, from actually seeing what it is that's important. And then oftentimes you're down the rabbit hole, you go, oh, just let me click on that newsletter from that studio that I love and see what's going on. And then the next thing you know, you're on a website looking at a retreat to Costa Rica. So it's very easy to get distracted. And I know that when you unsubscribe, that someone can see that you've unsubscribed and that's okay. It's okay if that person sees that you've unsubscribed to their newsletter and if you bump into them in class and they say something to you about it, then you can just explain to them that that was something that you had to do in order to take back your inbox. So hopefully they'll be all right with it. And um, if you're not comfortable with unsubscribing, I would also recommend setting filters. And what a fil filter will do, if any of you are in Gmail lately, you'll know that they've started to automatically um, organize your emails for you. So things that come in that are promotional will go into one folder. You know, things that are social media related will go in another folder. And then you have your main inbox. Before that happened, and for those of you that don't operate in Gmail, set filters, which means that if you get a newsletter, you can send it to a file, right? It can skip your inbox completely and be filed somewhere. And when you actually, on your lunch break, have five minutes to goof around and read newsletters, you can go over and click on that file and you can read it and you can have a blast checking out all of that stuff that you want to be aware of, but that will be a distraction when you're sitting down to get something done during a work session. So unsubscribing, filters. Um, another thing I really love to do is uh, mark things unread and flag them. And so what this means, one of the ways that I manage my emails personally, I wake up, I do my stretching, I have some coffee, and I do a skim of my inbox. So I wanna see what's come in during the night. So I'm getting rid of deletion, you know, I'm deleting things that I don't need at all. 
I'm opening emails to see what it is that's there, reading through them, hopefully delegating some of it, you know, sending it out to the appropriate person on your team that can handle it. And if it's something that I need to tend to that is quick, that I can actually just sort of yes, no, call here, send this, do that, I will respond. It then becomes read. If it's an email that's going to require my attention later, I will leave it marked as unread and I will also add a flag to it. And so when I sit down with a, with a clean carved out time to work on emails, which I actually do, I actually schedule time to work on emails, then I can go back in and I can see, okay, great, you know, I, I, I quickly processed it to see whether it was something that I was responsible for, but I, wrote, I marked it back to being unread, that way it'll still appear fresh to me when I sit down to have that time, you know, that's carved out to work on emails. So um, marking things unread and flagging them will help you quickly sift through a large, large number of, um, of emails and then you can, you know, clear away the things that other people can do, you can clear away the things that aren't important at all and focus on what it is that you can get to when you sit down to get to them. Another tip is to remove your push notifications. And um, what I mean by that, and a lot of us have it in different ways and might not realize it, but you know, on your phone, uh, you get notified, you can get notified anytime you get an email, anytime you get a voicemail, anytime you get a phone call, anytime you get a text message, anytime <laughs> you get an, you know, a notification on Facebook. And when you think about how many times your device can be reaching out, ding, 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 ding. It's totally, totally distracting. And so I have turned them all off because I, when I need to be on my phone, I need to be on my phone. And so, you know, even something popping up visually can still be a distraction, but I found it really helpful to turn off the notifications because when I'm, when I'm on Facebook, I wanna be on Facebook. I don't wanna be on Facebook when I'm supposed to be working on my finances or you know something that's important and so I found that by turning down a lot of the noise you can really help yourself out so detoxing your inbox super super important you know we're all really busy we all have lots of things going on and we all have things that we really want to get to whether that's family whether that's having fun or actually getting some work done so I encourage you all to feel confident and make some changes in your inbox and to have fun and we will see you out there. Thanks so much for listening.